Hey everyone, Angry Poncho here, and welcome to my first ever blind LP. Uh, I'm going to be doing a blind LP of Indigo Prophecy. Now the first couple scenes won't be blind because I just tried to record them and then realized about an hour in that my microphone wasn't turned on, so I will, I will have a little bit of fore, foreknowledge about the first couple things, but after that it's all going to be blind, so new game. I did. I already did the tutorial in the last in the last attempt. So let me tell you, I I sucked too. Like at the, at the beginning, like I I might post up some just like some footage without commentary, or just how bad I was at the game, but probably not. Anyway, so this is uh the opening cutscene here, Indigo Prophecy. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Hmm. Pretty nice little opener there. Indigo Prophecy. Nice. And I'm trying to figure out, uh... Whoa. How it things all started are... right here. Hmm. Where else could it happen? New York. Capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Statue of Liberty. Look how bright they made the city look. That's just so cool. With the moon and all the snow. Hedwig? <laughs> no, I see snow and I see a bird come flying by in like an opening like scene and I immediately think Harry Potter. <laughs> just, I don't know. It's probably not Hedwig though. I mean, it's it's a crow, you see. So, here we are at Doc's Diner. Alright, written and directed by David Cage, who actually is also like a tutorial guy. <laughs> Interesting. Hello. Some guy taking a whiz and the crow is watching him. Well, that's creepy. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. Ugh, what the hell, man? And there's somebody. Ah, look at this. Now, even though I've seen this already, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play it as though I haven't. I'm just gonna try to pretend I don't know anything so I can relearn it with you guys, because I, I didn't really absorb a whole lot the first time, I'm just kind of going at it here. Whoa. Yeah, that crow's... That crow's scary. It's got some kind of... Jeez. <laughs> and there's our protagonist. Jeez. Oh, God! <laughs> it's like Predator. He's up there, he's like... <laughs> waiting, like, ready to come down and strike. Jeez. This is pretty crazy here. Oh, jeez. Woohoo. Look at that. He just, he just stabbed the shit out of him, man. Come on. Oh, oh man. <laughs> He's going in for the kill, man. Finish him! Fatality! I make light of this, but this is just, just effed up, man. This is crazy. Roar! Yeah, he's freaking out. Let me get this really creepy shot of this little girl. I, just, I don't even know what's going on here, man. This is weirding me out.
Whoa. What? what? What have I done? Whoa, yeah, he's not feeling too good. The crow flies out of here. I didn't want... It was like a dream. So we're in the bathroom of this diner. Oh, crap. Seriously? Oh, jeez. Um, we gotta do something about that. Because he... I, Ooh. I've, I've gotta get out of here, but before somebody comes in here... Alright, so, let's get out of here. Alright, I'll turn on the subtitle because uh, it's kind of hard to understand sometimes. Let's get this right. Turn the music down. Turn the voices up. Effects and music go down. Here we go. I'm gonna turn on... That's not right. Leave that alone. Where's subtitles? Where's that option? Oh, it's in the main menu, isn't it? Shit. Ah, are you serious, man? Are you freaking serious? Let's go back. All right, I'm gonna zip back to the main menu real fast, and we'll and we'll we'll, we'll get right back to this. I promise. I just I want to turn on the subtitles because there's a lot of talking in this game, and if you got if I happen to be talk, talking about something, I don't want to ride right over what the characters are saying. And just it, cause it'll, it'll destroy part of the story, you know. And this this game, and this gives me a good opportunity to talk about a little bit more about the game. This game is hailed as an interactive movie by the uh, people who make it, Quantum Games or, or whatever the name of that company was. But uh, uh, subtitles, there it is, on. Okay, now we can get back to work. Go back to continue. Just keep playing. All right, there we go. So yeah, basically it's gonna be. A lot, not a whole lot of action, but a lot of conversations, a lot of choices to make about what to say, what to do, and the very first opportunity we get to make choices is right here in this opening scene. Now things have just started. We got to figure out what are we going to do with the body. What are we going to do? What do, we, what do we focus on? All right, let's move around. Why can't I move around? No, come on now. Why did it? Why are my movement axis is axes reversed? That's weird. Let me fix my controls. That's, that's really strange. I want to use the A, S, W, and D keys. Par left. I want that one to be this one. That one to be here. And that one to be here. And the rest of them are fine. Okay. And play. Back to the movie. Alright. Okay, let's clean up. Well, actually, let's, let's wait to clean up until we move the body. Let's, uh... Well, hell, he's not important. We need to get rid of the murder weapon. The knife here. Pick up the knife. Get rid of that shit. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Oh, I see. Last time I thought I just missed the scene with, with him hiding the knife. But they actually just don't show you where he hides it. That way you don't know for later. Oh, okay, great. That makes a lot of sense. All right, I don't really need to move about the body. Do I? I mean, it's not. they're going to have the evidence whether I yank him into a stall or not. Okay, let's clean up. We gotta get the blood off of me, so I can get out of here and not get caught. There you go. T wash, the, wash them. Wash your hands off. Get that blood off your face. There you go. It's a little bit better. All right. Now, what else do I need to do to get rid of evidence that it was me? All right. Um. I could, I could clean the floor if I wanted. That's what I did last time. I stayed in here and I cleaned the floor. Anyway, <laughs> because I was like, oh, maybe we can hide the evidence. It'll take them longer to find the body. But it, what ended up happening is like, Duh, it's barred up. I can't get out this way. The cop just happened to uh, like walk into the bathroom just as I was leaving, and so he saw me, and it was just like, oh damn. I mean, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, and then like I got an another another eyewitness because I ran right out the front door of this place. Let's go ahead and walk out very casually now. No need to worry here. I'm gonna see if I can't just exit. There's another door. Yeah, this is like the back door here. I'm just gonna get the fuck out. Sir. Don't look behind you. The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. What is it? Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh yes, of course. I excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Jeez. Before somebody finds the body. Right, okay. Put the bill. Go. Okay, see, last time I just ran right out the other door. 
I didn't even have the option to like pay for this shit. Go ahead and pay for it. Wait, what did it say? Yes, put the money on the table. There you go. Good job. Let's get out of here. I don't want to get caught. And we can leave through this door, can't we? Oh crap, I just realized something. I'm creating another eyewitness. Because there's a homeless dude out in the alley. Damn. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Anyway. Basically, we just run now. Whew, okay, so I did things a little differently than last time, although I still managed to create two eyewitnesses. So maybe it's not possible to get out of there without creating an eyewitness. Anyway, let's get in the car. Go through this. I actually happened to find this taxi by chance last time. Uh, Brooklyn, please. Yeah, he found the body, alright, right away. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Yeah, so the homeless dude saw me. The, uh, the waitress noticed me, but the cop didn't see me. Okay, so I guess no matter what you do, that, that woman notices you because you have to either pay the bill or, or leave without paying. And either way, she notices your face, and so I guess there's no way to avoid that. But this way around, the cop didn't see me, but the other guy did. So I guess I'm really not any better off than I was the first time when I did it blind, because I had I have two eyewitnesses, except now instead of the cop, I have a homeless guy, so... But the fact that the waitress saw me anyway doesn't really... Ah, uh, it's done. Right. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. Yeah, Tyler, quit bitching. You're the boss, Carla. Jeez. So we got these two detectives, Carla and uh, Tyler. Let's learn a little more about them. We got this question mark prompt. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Yup. Things are different. How you doing? How you doing? Go ahead and go inside. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. All right. Um, any witnesses? Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Really? Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Ah, how? How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Of course. What about this table? Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Oh yeah, this is different. Wow, this is interesting. Um, customers see anything? Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Um, the waitress? Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. What a nice guy. Yes, yeah, so we can switch characters now, too, so we can be the guy or the girl, uh, detective, uh, Clara, or Tyler. So now I'm just gonna go over here to, the, to Kate, the waitress. Hello. Now you're probably noticing those icons at the top of the screen. What I'm doing Kate? is like sliding the mouse to like to do things. I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. It's kind of tricky, actually. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Um, did you see the suspect? Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. How are you doing? Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. 
The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Someone else? Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. So it had to be that guy. 